by high major standards. Gillespie the kick. And then a foul on the closeout there by Greg Brown. The freshman has had trouble with early fouls. But a junior in Ramey and a fourth-year junior in Jones. Brown with an 18-footer, and it's good. That's huge. Remember, this kid is one for 16 behind the arc so far. But he's gone casual like just about every coach has this year. He told us before the game that he's hoping. Hello! Oh, Brown for three. Yep. That's something he really enjoys doing. I would agree. I don't I do not think that was a flop. Brown for three. What a rebound by Ham. Can't finish it though. A missed opportunity for Texas. I need to learn the game, and this is a pretty good place to do it. Number two on Kai Jones. He goes to the bench. Thank you, Gillespie, back of the game with the Villanova on offense right now, and the Cats back within two after trailing by seven a couple of minutes ago. Another great shot fake. Samuels, though, can't convert, and Brown down with a rebound. Ball moves with him. He's sort of a, what I would describe as an Alex Caruso mm -hmm. type of player. Brown just forcing it. Nowhere to go, and he's called for the travel. Dan, I've watched every game of his. It's either going to be a shot or a shot fake and drive left, and that's what we mean by a personnel game. And right, friend, why does everybody pick and roll so much? Because it's really hard to guard. Exactly. <laughs> 15-footer a little bit short for Samuels down with a rebound from Greg Brown Brown with five points and a couple of rebounds now in the game getting noisier though <laughs> Sims with a size advantage now on Swider banging with him backing him down Tip no good and finally the third time is true for the Longhorns. It'll be Sims great history I'm going to tell you the sky's the limit. You know, Joni Conrad did a great job and she won a national championship in 1986 and Vic Shaver has inherited time Dan I thought Villanova would keep Texas from scoring as easily as they did in the first half more inside again and Greg Brown's having none of it well, it's one thing to do that against a, a guard lob over the top but a, a little bit too high even for a guy like Brown so he'll knock down a three a great block at one end by Brown Denying Justin Moore, knocking down a jumper at the other end. Wait to see if they call it a two or a three. Either way, it's getting Texas closer. The rebound for Villanova. Great kick out, too. He didn't force it inside. They didn't have a shot. Too much dribbling. Too much. And too much length, Greg yes, Brown. Absolutely. Yeah. You knew that was coming. Called necessity yeah, of, it's, of yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, can't be any worse going right. Gillespie, no, and down with the rebound is Brown. Be original and pick some, you know, some <laughs> other guy. He's always playing the hero late in the game. There's a travel. Greg Brown just trying to go a little bit too quickly. You know why he traveled? Because they forced him to use his right hand. He loves to go left. He got caught in between. And a turnover, and now a run out. Samuels misses the dunk. A foul is called on the play. Watch. Take a look, Jermaine Samuels. He literally did take off just inside the foul line. And now he's going to shoot two mm. free throws with that bandage on his ring finger. Uh, two defenders <laughs> on Colin Gillespie right now. They are not going to let Gillespie catch the ball if they can, but he still gets free. <laughs> and he is fouled by Brown. Hurts if you're Texas. Two possession game, 6.9 to go. Coleman, the miss, Villanova ball, and they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Wildcats will beat the Longhorns 68 to 64.